What's going on gang? Ball Matrix here and today I'm going to talk to you about some Ultrabooks. Specifically three Ultrabooks. The new MacBook, the Dell XPS 13, and the Lenovo X1 Carbon 3rd generation. Now the reason I'm actually doing this video is because I've been in the, I've been hunting for an Ultrabook specifically for work. Something that I could take home and back to work very easily. I would prefer it be Linux compatible, but it doesn't have to be. I could just install Linux myself. I'm really looking for something thin and light to just use for travel and for little bits of work here and there. As I've been taking on a new role at work, I'm doing more and more meetings, and my uh, Dell M4800 is not really conducive to taking to meetings. So I've actually been uh, able to get a hold of one of each of these to play with for a very limited amount of time, and I wanted to give you some quick impressions. First up is the brand new MacBook, 12 inches, a beautiful display, super thin, super light, uh, really a nice piece of kit for the en in an engineering standpoint. I have to say the display is beautiful. It is probably the best display out of the three, or at least my favorite. The unit itself is very thin, as I said. It's feels somewhat strong, but at the same time, it also feels fragile. It's very strange. The materials feel solid, but the overall just thinness of the unit feels like I'm going to break the cursed thing. And uh, there are two very huge problems I have with the new MacBook. The first of which has to be with the USB-C port. It's just not feasible right now to only have two ports on a laptop, especially something I'm going to be using at work. I don't want to carry around a ton of dongles to do just basic stuff. I need something that I can plug USB sticks into and actually work with it, as opposed to this thing, which I understand why Apple went with one port. I just don't like it. The other thing I don't like about the machine is the keyboard. The keys don't feel right. There's no real feedback. The travel of the keys is way too short for my taste. What travel on a keyboard is, is that's the distance that the key moves. In other words, how much up and down movement does it have? And it has about half as what my current MacBook Pro here at home has. It just doesn't feel good to type on. Now, that's not to say I couldn't get used to it, just initial impressions were not good. Overall though, I think this is unfortunately at the bottom of my list of the three contenders. Uh, unless you're a MacBook fanboy and you live in nothing but Mac, I would actually say stay away for right now. It's also way too underpowered with only a Core M processor. Just it can't beat the other two in processing power. Next up is the Dell XPS 13 and this is a really really, really nice Ultrabook. And the thing I love about it is the screen. The beautiful infinity display that goes from bezel edge to bezel edge is just gorgeous. And it starts off with a 1080p screen or you can upgrade to a QHD screen. And QHD is 3200 by 1800. It's a crazy high resolution. And Windows 8 scaling isn't quite that good, but Windows 10 scaling, from what I understand, is going to be a lot better. So I would probably get an upgrade, and I would stick with Windows for it for a while, or I would dual boot. I would dual boot Windows 8.1 and Linux. Uh, that's just something I would prefer to do, as opposed to going full on Linux. The keyboard is nice, it has a very good feel to it, and the actual trackpad is really nice. The only part of the trackpad I don't particularly care for are the buttons on the bottom. They're a little mushy. Uh, the one I the unit that I used uh, just was a little mushy, but otherwise the machine is nice, it's sleek, it's very, it's brushed aluminum, it doesn't pick up smudges from your fingers all that much, and it's just a very, very nice laptop. Also the, um, the adapter, the AC adapter that it comes with is also very nice. It's very, very small. Processing power is I would go with the i5 model instead of the i7. I'm saving several hundred dollars there, but that's just me being a penny pincher. If you really want to go all out, I would get the i7 and see if you could get a 500 gig SSD, but the 256 would be plenty. Last is the Lenovo X1 Carbon. It has the best keyboard of all of them and is also the most expensive. It has a pretty darn good trackpad. The Generation 3 trackpad is now 
kind of a glassy plastic and it has its traditional buttons and along the top and it's even got the little track point button in the middle of the keyboard for those of you that don't that have to have one of those and it drops the second generation's capacitive touch buttons along the top of the keyboard i don't know why they did that i guess they were just trying for something but failed miserably the screen though is a little bit of an older TN panel. It's not an IPS panel like the MacBook and the Dell XPS 13. So you are going to get a slightly darker or a slightly muddier image with it, but it's still not bad. It is, an, it is a matte finish as well. The biggest caveat or the biggest problem I have with the unit is one, it's price. It's way too expensive personally, or at least what I think. And two, the outside plastic of the unit picks up so many fingerprints. It's just, it's disgusting. Come on, Lenovo, use something that doesn't pick up so many fingerprints, please. It's just so gross. It's just, ah. So gang, of the three, I would have to go with the XPS 17. That's just gonna be a personal opinion. Uh, now I am recording this the day before the Amazon Prime Day. So hopefully one of these units goes on sale, and if it does, I will probably end up with that, and you'll see a review of that machine hopefully in a week. Um, Review-wise, I am way backed up. I've got a ton of stuff I need to review, and the baby is just taking so much time. So I'm trying to get the reviews out as best I can. I just have almost zero free time right now. But I am working on it, and I'm actually going to be doing a little bit more writing, and I'm going to probably be doing only two a week, not three a week, just for my own sanity. So, gang, I hope you enjoyed this little uh first impressions of some of these laptops. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll catch you next time.